what, what happened to my... Like, you guys stop doing that to me. That's the twice. That's twice. Like, I, there's no way to test it unless you hit the intro button. And then the intro is not ran two weeks in a row. I don't know well, what's wrong with the I got the notification on my phone, and I looked over, and then we're live. <laughs> Who knows? Well, hello, everybody. Uh, for, for those that are just joining us, we normally roll a little audio intro. gives us about 10 seconds. Take a breath. Look at the camera. Prepare ourselves. Unmute. Do all the things we need to do before this thing actually rolls. And for some reason or another, my whole streaming rig just doesn't want to run it anymore. Doesn't want to run it. Didn't so work. here we are. We are live on another Monday. Hopefully... Y'all had a good Thanksgiving break, ate a little turkey, maybe a little stuffing, a little dressing, if you're from the South. Um, and we did not do any of those things because Jill caught COVID. Sure did. And so we were just stuck here. I did go buy some ham. I bought some turkey, but we haven't cooked it yet. <laughs> so no turkey for us. We are all, I guess we'll just have to get some turkey later. I guess so. Yes. Um, I'm going to warm up the palate here. With something I have not had in a while, and you have not had ever. Yeah, but my palate. Her palate's gone, not. so she's just here to look good. I'm just here to talk. She is here <laughs> to look good. Um, this is the Crittenton's Four Grain Brusel Pick we did um, back months ago. Now, I mean, we sold out of these months ago, mm. and the finally we just said, okay, it seems like all the issues are taken care of. All, all everybody got their bottles that they, they got them, and Synthesize. we had the extras sent to here. So I have not tried this since that barrel pick months and months ago now, and so Crittenton's is a little tough on the wax here. This wax is soft, but I thought there's I think there's like a Thought there was like something to pull there, but hand me the the this thing. bottle opener there. Let's just go the old fashioned way. It's soft wax, but I can't can't get it off. Louisiana in the house, Randy, welcome. Bunch of folks in here. Dragon, Sean, Marshall, Adam, Hector. Man, we got a full house here. Hit the like button for me if you would. Let's see how many folks we get in here. Let's see if we can. Get more folks than we had last week. I think we had a thousand and sixteen maximum so concurrent. That might be, I think we've done a thousand a couple of times. Marshall, on the birth of your son. That's awesome. Congratulations. Ah, the Crittenton's wax is a little soft, but it's not too bad. A little, little knife, little, gives you a reason to use a knife. That's always <laughs> good. From Wales in the house. Awesome. International crew in here. I've That's, been watching The Crown. The Crown. From, so, from Wales? It's so, I mean, you know, it's not from Wales. Oh, my God. It's in the same vicinity. That smells delicious. It's very dark looking. Very, I like that. I like everything about that. Man. I like it. It is like a little cinnamon graham oh, cracker. I actually can smell that. Deliciousness. Deep fried deals in the house. Jack Weaver's here. Cincinnati Primal Instinct. I made New it back Zealand. 100% now. I can smell that. Got the Crittenden's rye. I'm going to try that next. I got the rum finished rye over there. Sorry for my loss, Ashley. Let's not bring it up, okay? I'm in a good mood right now. Let's not bring up the Iron Bowl. Oh, please don't bring up the Iron don't Bowl. Don't bring it up. I know there'll be some Bama fans in here. I'm sure they'll be jumping in here in just a little bit. Let me know. But you know what? I will have to say that I'm very proud of my Auburn Tigers. <laughs> I am, because nobody expected them to go in there and even play with Alabama at all. And I just love how everybody from Alabama's like, ooh, you know, well, there was some TikTok that said, um, Alabama escapes Auburn. And I'm like, what the, what are y'all talking about? Alabama escapes Auburn. Y'all thought y'all were coming in there, hands down, beating us, no problem whatsoever. And at least we gave y'all a problem. We did give them a problem. Gave, we gave, we gave them, them a heart problems. attack. What yeah. happened to the podcast tonight? What do you mean? I watched it for a little bit, and then I had to bail to get ready for this stream, Whiskey. So, what do you mean? Not sure. But that is, that's but a delicious week. Did you try this? No, I didn't try this much. All I have to say is until next year. Until next year. Y'all have this one. you probably have next year, too. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> um, Podcast was a re- Oh, was it? The live stream? Was it? Was it that? That was the one I was on just a minute ago, right? Watching the live stream, they replayed an older version. That's weird. Um, checking in from Tasmania. Ooh. Man, 
All right, so while we're going through this, let's just kind of catch up on the news, the updates, barrel pick wise. We are waiting on the Clyde, Clyde Maze has landed. We are waiting on bottles. We were hoping they'd be here for this stream. They are not here. Mm. So we will have them hopefully by next week. If they are here this week, which we fully expect them to be, those bottles will go for sale on Tuesday. And those were the ones we, we picked in the Talladega video. Literally the first barrel pick we did this year is now dropping. So we are just now getting those. It is going to be, they're really, it's a really nice um, bourbon and rye. If mm -hmm. you haven't had Clyde Mays, I get like slight apple notes on it, like a really good bourbon and rye. But took a while. What Which is it? one is that? Is that our pick? Our pick? This is the Crittenden's pick, the four grain from wow, Crittenden's. Wow, yeah. that's really good. Yes. I don't know if I've had that. You have not had this one. That is delicious. No, yeah, this is the forgotten and four grain right here. Do you here. know what? I know. It may just be because I'm... First one back. Recovering from COVID. And, but I mean, I can taste that and smell it just fine. But do you know what that reminds me of? What? An Almond Joy. Okay. I see where you could get like that a little bit. Like the chocolate and the coconut? I see where you can get that. I think your palate's a little crazy. Maybe a little crazy. I'm it just... is. Like this is a, it's a four grain. It's got a, a lot of malted barley in it. I don't know. I It just made me think of, a, of an Almond and Joy. And so, honestly... This reminds me of a young Willet Purple Top. Mm. Like one of the younger Willet Purple Tops. This has very similar flavor profile. Um, very, very good. How does it compare to the five-year? Completely different animal. Very this, good. This four grain's a completely different thing. That's his normal weeded mash bill. This one, completely different. Um, this, that's a good, this is a good <laughs> bottle. I, if he has more of those, I want them for sure. Oh, Melissa, thank you. She said she loves my hair. It actually tried to do something today. I don't know. We'll see. It looks okay. It looks okay? Yep. Grab me another Glenn. Let's see if we can try this rye right here. Same thing, rum finished rye. I haven't had it since that video. So I wanted to give this one a shot while we're at it. And then we're still waiting on the oh. Ben Holiday, and the 13th Colonies might be there this week as well. So we might be dropping definitely. I, I would assume we would drop it the week after next. We but have, again, we don't know till we have bottles. We have someone watching in Israel. That's awesome. Watching in Israel. I awesome. can't. I don't know the name, but what are the four grains? So it's it's like it says on the back here. I think I'll have to watch the video. It does not. It might give them right there, but they're really small. I don't know with your with your telescopes on if you can see that. I have not tried the applewood rye. The grain. Jane. Yeah. Like corn. It's a yeah. Corn. Corn, rye, malted rye, and barley. So technically three, but two of them are treated different. So I need a 13th double oak, Joe. I don't have one. I might have one coming, but wow, I, it's been a while. that first one was so good. Oh. How many bottles did we get? <laughs> a few, good. a few. I like that one. Ah, uh, Garrett got his wife the proof queen, Glen Karen. Yay, I'm so glad she loves them. Dude, that. I'm not drinking not out of one, one right now. I don't know where, where they are. These were really good picks. Like, we did so good on these Crittentons. I can't take I any credit. So I was happy. not there. I am so happy with both of those barrels right there. Like, you, you try them in the Rick House, and sometimes, you know, you get back home and they're good, but they're not as good as you remember them. And both of those are better than I remember them. Ooh. Jo Blessed Assassin just joined. So. Wow. The, we are waiting on the Clyde Mays. They have landed in New York. We are waiting on bottles to make it here so we can review them and try them on a live stream. Uh, maybe do a video to help promote them. I expect those, those bottles to be here this week and for us to put them out next week, but we don't know until they arrive because weird stuff happens. Um, I'm still waiting on 13th Colonies. That should be out in Texas. Like, I'm expecting any minute to get an email. Um, the uh, Ben Holidays, we're still kind of waiting on those. The um, Still Austin will probably be January before we have those. This week in Patron, we should be announcing and asking for those that want to go on the Frey Ranch pick. Um, and so we should hopefully have that available for folks to sign up for. And we'll be picking who goes on the Frey Ranch pick with us. 
Watchman says it's cold in Canada tonight. It's cold in Alabama tonight, too. The live stream tonight, we are going to blind the top 100-ish proof whiskey. So 100 to 109 proof, looking for the best. These were voted on by patrons and folks in the Discord. Um, Y'all let me know in the chat right now what your order on this is. I'm going to have Jill blind them here in just a little bit. And we are going to, uh, we're going to see what my order is. I'm, I'm always nervous when Weller Antique 107 is in a blind because that's just my, that's my guy, right? That's like, you know, that's like putting your girlfriend in a blind. And then if you don't pick your girlfriend, you, you feel like, you feel like a butthole. But, you know, you, this single barrel is really good. This is E.H. Taylor single barrel instead of the, Small batch, it's the one I had open. I'm not opening another bottle till that one's done. If you think that taints the blind, then just let it be tainted. tainted. Randy got the Bruzel cap today. Did you get the new leather patch caps there, Randy? Uh, I'm enjoying these. I, these are, we went with the leather patch. They're the um, Richardson 112s. Uh, much better cap than the previous ones we've done. Awesome, Randy. Someone asked what was what's cold in Alabama. Currently, it is 43 degrees. Oh, it's freezing almost. It, but it feels like 38. It feels like it's still not freezing. Thank you. That's cold. <laughs> That's cold. It's cold That's to her. Cold. cold to her for sure. So we're going to do this blind, and then we have I have a few new whiskeys that we just got in. We've got um, Midwinter Nights Dram over there. We have a finished High West. And we've got Jason Aldean's Gypsy, not Jason Aldean, Eric Church's Gypsy Whiskey, I think it is, Gypsy. over there. We're going to try those here in just a little bit. It's a pretty bottle. And uh, let you know what we think. Oh, it's such, like, I love the bottle. This is a gorgeous, It's like hand-hammered. Gorgeous it is a, bottle. Here, let, let's give them a close-up of the bottle right there. Put it, you got to put it in the middle, because we're going to we're gonna do extreme zooms here. Make sure I don't leave it like this. No, don't leave it like Boom. that. Boom, extreme zooms. Zoom. It's like a hammered finish. If you ever seen like a hammered sink, it looks like that. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. I think these are going. Y'all look up the MSRP. I Googled it. It looks like it's going for like 200 ish dollars. And that is, oof, that's a lot of money. Ah, oh, full Tater King mode. I I didn't like I didn't I didn't pick these. I, I'm not the one that picked them. Y'all are tater kinging, and I'm just drinking them. Or if you're talking about like I'm gonna do a single barrel instead of opening a small batch. Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I definitely tater king that. All right. Um are you I did not get an annual lot. Yeah, slide that back over there. We'll try that after the blind. Knob 12 is crazy good. <laughs> the thing is, is I think now last week the colored Glen Cairns threw me way off. I don't know if something was in one of them, but that um, that Buffalo Trace just had all sorts of great notes on it. Like it was almost too good to be true. And so I think I'll be able to pick most of these, but it's actually been a while since I've had wild turkey. It's been a while since I've had this single barrel. Uh, so you never can tell. And when you get in a blind and your taste buds start to dumb down a little bit and you've got, you know, four or five whiskeys, sometimes these guys can be a little difficult to tell apart. <clears throat> Seth from Idaho, it's 27, the oh, Taylor wow. Hater State. Got my bourbon hunter hat. Love it. Appreciate it, Seth. That's awesome. 27, that's, that's, yeah, that's real cold. Uh, that is, that is way too cold. Don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't like that. We don't, we don't like to do that here in Alabama. All right, Jill, you want to do the blind real quick and we'll get started on that? Yeah. You're not, don't color code them. I know, them. that's the okay. first thing, because I, I, I picked this red up and I'm like, oh goodness, there's Don't color code them. I didn't try to last don't do time. It. I know you did, but we got accused of shenanigans. Oh, I got accused of all kinds of stuff. Yes. I read the comments. Tater equals potato. I a, read the comments. A tater is people that just enjoys whiskey and doesn't hate. And a hater is a person who calls people taters. So that's, a, that's how I define them. All right, so I am going to hit the mute button, and then I'm going to go hang out and mute it. Oh, and I just need to take a picture again of You need to remember, for sure. Well, I got to take a picture. Oh, Matthew says it's negative 10 in Ontario, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Enjoy your summer temps. Yeah, absolutely. That's real cold. I 
probably could. I mean, I could visit that, but I definitely couldn't live there. Couldn't. Although, I, if I was ever going to move somewhere, it would be Canada. See, these glasses are so hard to pour anything into. You do not know how much you're pouring. Oh, yeah. I do remember what you told me. That makes it easier. Look at you. You're kind of smart. All right. But what if I'm, like, pouring them all in the same glass and does that, like, mess things up? Probably. Yeah. See, I don't want to get a different clear glass for everyone. What are your thoughts on Green River Kentucky Straight Bourbon Jill? I don't know if I've ever had Green River. I'm not sure. Hmm. Have I ever had Green River? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had Green River. Um, let me figure this out a better way. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to. This one's a little bit better. It's a little easier. All right. What are your thoughts? Oh, how do you feel about Taylor not dropping Rep TV last night? I thought she did do something with it last night. Did I miss that? Huh. I thought there was something that happened with that last night. I have to ask my girls. All right. It's hard to pour and look at the screen and talk and all this stuff. Okay. I'm not color coordinating this time, folks. I'm not mixing them all up. And then I'm going to take a picture. My phone's over here going off like crazy. Okay. Let me get everything situated. And for everybody that was asking earlier, I am feeling much better. Um, today was my last day of, no, yesterday was my last day of quarantine. So technically I can go out of my house, but it says to like wear a mask around people. I don't know. So I just, I'm not going to go around people, but I, I'm feeling much better. So thank y'all for asking. All right, Thomas. Oh, I don't have to put them up there. All right, should be unmuted now. Didn't make that mistake twice. We're learning. We learning. only make some of the mistakes the same. All right. You only ran off about 400 people. I'm kidding, of course. What? Jill, calm down. I was, I was, I was a joke, Jill. Don't do that. It was, it was a joke. <laughs> oh, I mean, a trip to Scotland. It'd probably be 2025 unless end of next year we, we work out some time. What? What? Unless my other thing works out and I'm already kind of over there in that area and we might as well just do it then. Oh, we might be doing it next year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okie doke. Let's, um, let's see. Hopefully these are color coded. We'll oh, almost knock that one over. We are starting off. I hate the colors. I, Mark, I hate the colors. I'm going to be honest I with love Mark. the colors, Mark. I hate the colors. Mark sent I us the colors. Them. I love them too, but I hate them at the same time. It's a love-hate relationship I've got going on with the colors. Appreciate it there, Tommy. Y'all hit the like button for me if you would. Uh, see if I can get these right. Ooh, okay, that's, uh, that's definitely one of the... That is one of the um, Buffalo Trace products right there. Thank you, Chris. He likes my hair. I thought so. Man, see, my t this just messes with my taste buds so bad <laughs> because it smells just like fruit and then it doesn't taste like you're fruit. You're so cute when you're confused. <laughs> but, like, my eyes give me absolutely nothing on these, so I don't understand why me not being able to see them is just messing with my melon. I don't know. I'm not sure. Because that's definitely not what I thought it was on the nose. <laughs> definitely not. 
No, 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 no. Unless they do change, like, the... No, can, I think right? that's the Knob Creek. On the nose, it was just fruit, but... Mm. <laughs> A new Brussel shirt. You're cute when you're confused. <laughs> uh, that one would be cute. Uh, that one might have been open a little too long. I don't know, but it's my favorite color cup. It's a little light. Tastes like it might be just a hair oxidized. Really sweet. It's good, but something's a little off about it. Um, I don't recognize it from any of those bottles. Ah, uh, have a dine your Buffalo Trace barrel pick that's fantastic. The, mm. the Buffalo Trace last week did really, really good. Alex says you need to get some black. Yeah, well, pants. I mean, we got one. We got one black one. But it is the hardest one to pour anything into. You can't see anything. <sighs> this is going to be fun. These are always fun. You do need you a hat like this one. I need me a hat. So like I ordered a oh, hat. Like that one. I ordered a hat last week. I I was on Facebook and there was a hat on sale, and it was the it was a replica of the good and the bad and the ugly hat, and I fell for it and I bought it and they had the site all built up like it was this little Texas hat company or something. It's what it gave vibes, and then I ordered it and I got the tracking. It's like, yep, it's coming from China. We don't know when it's gonna get yeah. here. So I, I hope the hat's decent quality. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Caribou Cross in there, Tim. The 60K Airplane Buffalo Trace bottle? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm definitely playing chess or checkers. No, he's just doing the Jill method, that's all. The Jill method? Mm -hmm. It should be Nate. Oh, the Proof Queen method. There you go. The Proof Queen? Yeah, it's the yeah. Proof Queen method. That's what it is. The COVID Queen I did, method? I'm not a COVID Queen. I don't have COVID anymore. I'm over the COVID. Okay. I had the COVID, but I don't have it anymore. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Are you coming to Ohio for Single Barrel Saturday in a couple weeks? What is Single Barrel Saturday? Probably not, because I don't know anything about it at this point. We're going to be at Sugarland, the moonshine place, in a couple weeks. Yeah, well, maybe three ish weeks. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah, yeah, two or three. I probably should have drank these beforehand because it's been a while for a couple of these since I've had them. So I probably I probably should just cheat and drink all of these ahead of time so it refreshes my palate. Oh. Is that cheating? Is it cheating if I come in here mm. earlier in the day and have just little samples to reacclimate myself with what these taste like? It probably is. Probably. I'm, I'm down with I'm, I'm down with calling it cheating. I'm just curious if y'all would think that's cheating. It definitely takes a little bit of the fun out of it. Yeah. Because if I did that, I could nail all these, but I didn't do that. So now I'm confused. Well, we don't, yeah, we want you to be confused because you're cute when you're confused. And that's called 107 bias. This one is interesting. Like, if you would have just asked me, I would have said that's an old Forster product, though. Hmm. I don't remember. And what there's not an old Forrester product over there. Yeah, I don't know. You have Auburn colors on tonight, did you realize that? I, I didn't realize it. Um, I just go in with my lumberjack look. <laughs> Where are you going for the quarterly? Um, I don't know if, if I'm going. You're talking about the lottery? Don't know if I'm going at all. That's the end of the year lottery. Lots of tannins. This one doesn't have a ton of tannins. It's got kind of a sweet spicy note to it kind of like I get on Old Forester uh, I'll be on a cruise December 9th through 17th if you drop a barrel pick I would need you to save one might have saved one because we might be dropping several during that time San Antonio in the house all right let's go back through these My palate's not the sharpest today. <laughs> uh oh, are you okay? No, it's good. It's good. I've just been in between lives. I'm trying to drink less whiskey, and we haven't had to film a lot of videos. I was yeah. supposed to film some this weekend, but didn't feel like it, so I didn't. Um, so I just haven't been drinking a ton of whiskey in between these lives. So when I get on lives, 
It's like the first whiskey I've drank in a week. Like this is probably the first whiskey I've drank since last Monday. I'm trying to think of what I had since last Monday. It wasn't much. Yeah. And so I just haven't, my palate just takes a little while to get acclimated. Like on the last live, kind of the same thing. Hadn't drank much in about a week. And so by the time I got done, that's when I started picking up the flavor. So I'm just going to take my time, maybe go through these a couple of times. <laughs> Hand me that bottle of Crittenden's. <laughs> the first going. one. Not, not, I like the rye too, but this one's like, oh my goodness, good. Does anybody else have this one? I'm sure, yeah, yeah they could buy this one, right? Yeah, that's it right there. How's my Scott's journey? Um, we had, well, we, we shot a video in Mississippi oh, where they tried to convince goodness. me um, to like Scotch. And we found some interesting ones. This is it? Uh, that should be it, yeah. Wow. I mean, if you want to just pour it out, you can pour yourself some more just to be sure if you just want to pour it in there. But I'm pretty sure that's it. Well, I wanted, that's the right. I wanted for sure. that in my glass. That's for sure. Anyways. Oh, you'll get a different glass. Okay. Oh, you got to have the proof queen. So you only have proof queen glasses. Sorry. Waylon with the Super Chat. Fourth live stream, I made it to. Curious what you tasting notes on plain Woodford. I get a pepper tobacco, but that's it. Woodford is not real, um, like normal Woodford is kind of plain. I don't get a ton of tasting notes. Like it's just kind of a basic, um, you know, spice with a little oak. I can see where you might get a little tobacco. I don't get a ton of pepper on it, but everybody gets different notes. That's what's great. You're not crazy. That's how it is. Um, Tommy sipping it now. It, it is fruit good. is a broke college student like sweet bourbon, like Maker's Mark, but I'm trying to find something which is more affordable and easy to obtain than Maker's Mark. There's nothing more affordable and easier to obtain than Maker's Mark. Um, Somebody said the Benchmark series. The Benchmark series, but that's not more attainable than Maker's Mark. Might be a probably similarly priced, maybe a little bit cheaper, um, but. Yeah, that probably good. That's a good. Re whoever made that recommendation, that's a good, re good recommendation. So this is the forgotten today. one, the one he did not. That is the one he didn't know he owned. He did not know he had a four grain because they were asking wow. for a four grain. He's like, we don't have any, and then we found that barrel. J Rock said he's already finished one. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. This one's really, really, really good. Can we get an old Forrester lineup review? Yes, I've been buying them. I think I've got one more to obtain. I did just buy an 1897. I'd never owned one of those. Um, so I'm sure we'll get around to that at some point. I do like bourbon creams. I just don't know what to do with them. Like, it's just not something I use a lot. S. Lowry says, come to Canada and do a barrel pick for us. We're missing out and Jill can get a new mug. There you go. Um, we need to do some Canadian whiskey at some point. Do a Crown Royal barrel? Can we get one of those? Is that a thing? Do they do that? <laughs> How do we buy store picks? Uh, one, be on the patron. That's that's going to be your best bet. If you want to get a store pick, join our patron. There is a free tier. You don't have to pay. Now, if it's a really desirable store pick, it might be harder to get at the free tier, but you will at least know and you'll get all the notifications. Not a bad idea to sign up for our, our newsletter or mailing list or be on the Discord as well, but minimum, go to patron.com forward slash brusel, sign up for the free tier, and you'll be notified, and then you'll get, you know, you'll get a link when that tier is reached to be able to, to Reagan, buy one. Reagan and her hubby are like us. He knows all about bourbon, and she just wants to talk about Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I do love me some T-Swift. All of these are good. Um, they're better going back through than they were. I'm going to go back through them. I'm probably going to run out of this one because I was going back to it, but... Bourbon cream and a little more bourbon. Crown Royal Barrel Pick is not recommended. <laughs> um, Shelter Point Barrel Pick, on the other hand. Watchman, hit me up and let me know. See if I can get some whiskey from Shelter Point. I'm down. Best bottle around $20. Um, I like the um, Evan Williams Bonded is around $20 here, but the benchmark stuff is probably to most people's palate. You regret not picking up the Crittenden's? You, yes, down south. You definitely mm -hmm. missed out on that Crittenden's. That, is, that bat's way above its weight class. Yeah, this one's... I'm trying to get wow. him to get distribution into Texas for the retailer that's handling our stuff now. We'll buy more barrels from him. He doesn't have any more of those, as far as I know. Like, we'll go dig in the Rick house. He doesn't know. What does he know? He didn't know about <laughs> that He one. didn't know this one was there. This one's so good. Wow. Very old Barton. 100 proof. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. I look like Clint Eastwood's big brother. I look like I ate Clint Eastwood. Is that what you're trying to say, Kyle? Is that what you're trying to say, Kyle? 
First time joining live as a member of the Bruzel Squad, the B Team, Welcome. baby. Welcome. Been loving the content over the past year. Appreciate it. Evan Williams, yeah, 100%. All right, we're trying to get this. So for those that have just joined, we are doing a blind right now of 100 to 109 proof whiskeys. We've got Knob Creek 12 over here, Wild Turkey 101, E.H. Taylor, single barrel. I'm sorry I big-timed it. I didn't want to open another bottle. Um, Weller Antique 107 and Four Roses Single Barrel. And I'm having a hard time deciding which is which, if I'm just being honest with you. Mitch says he just saw a Ben Holiday Rickhouse proof. I passed on it at 80. Do I need to go back? Uh, it depends, Mitch. Are you in the patron and are you a fairly high tier? Because if you're a fairly high tier in the patron, you'll be able to buy our barrel pick. Um, if you are not going to get our barrel pick or if you want more, like you did make a mistake for not buying it. But you can rectify that by buying the barrel pick, or if it's easier for you, go back tomorrow and buy that bottle. It's a good bottle. Yeah, we're going to be up at Sugar Land Distillery, um, you know, where they make moonshine and stuff. Uh, and we're going to be checking out. We're just going up there. They're going to have us up. We're going to take a tour and, and document what we document. Come to Houston. I pass through Houston a couple of times a year. I'm sure I'll be out through Houston early next year. Um, I, I've got to go to Austin. I'll probably stop and hunt in Houston on the next way through. Have you ever done a Houston hunt? I've not done no. a Houston hunt, no. We went Shreveport, and I did that one instead of Houston. And so I'll do Houston next time. We did just do Austin, though. Want my spot 52 in Madison? Yes, Studers, I do, very much so. I mean, you're going to have to show up and stand in line anyway, but if you want me to just pay for those bottles plus a little percentage markup and take whatever you get, I will do that if that helps you out in some way. I don't know why that would help you out in some way, but it would help me out in some way. <laughs> when the next Bruzel picks hitting the web, I'm hoping we are, so we have a new rule. We will not put the picks out to sale until I have bottles here to review for y'all. Because people are like, hey, I don't want to buy it because I, I heard anything about it and other than the video. And so we are waiting on bottles. The Clyde May should be here this week. And if it comes this week, if we get those bottles, it will be for sale next week, probably Tuesday. Um, 13th Colonies is on its way. I'm awaiting word that it is ready, and then I'll have them ship me bottles. So that literally might come out the next week. I don't know. We'll just have to wait till it, it lands and we get bottles. And then the Ben Holiday might be right after that, or honestly, it might hit. We might just do it in the 13th all at one time. Oh. Don't know. <laughs> like, we might try to hold them a week or two and see if we can just drop those at the same time. Um, so soon, very, very soon. We just, once they leave the distillery, we don't know until the, the distributor, because they got to go to the distributor, the distributor puts them through their system, and then they let the retailer know, retailer lets us know, and then they got to expedite us a couple of bottles. And so we just, we're going through that process now. Boris with the super chat. I've avoided George Dickel for a while until my local store had a Dickel tasting. The bottle in Bond 13 was delicious for the price. Might be a go-to. Mm. Dickel just has a mineral flavor to it. Uh, and for folks that that, if that mineral flavor is not off-putting to you, it's a wonderful whiskey. But if it is, if you don't like the mineral taste, you're just not going to like it because it almost all has it in spades and so the mineral taste is not my thing but other than the mineral taste i like everything about it carl love the content can you explain to a new bourbon guy the difference between cash strength and barrel proof thanks appreciate your first uh super chat there so technically cash strength and barrel proof i believe are the same thing so there's a few terms there's like foolproof Maybe bar barrel proof is probably in that foolproof category. So I, I apologize if I'm telling you wrong, but barrel proof is the proof at which it went into the barrel. So like, for instance, Weller stuff, they call that Weller foolproof because that is, they distilled it at whatever, whatever proof they distilled it. Then they watered it down to 114 proof. And that is the proof in which it entered the barrel. And then it went up. I think that is technically what barrel proof means as well. Cash strength, um, barrel strength. And barrel proof. And ba barrel proof is the same thing? Mm -hmm. So barrel proof is the same as cash strength. Yeah, okay. cash strength, barrel proof, and barrel strength. All the same thing. A potent, uncut, unfiltered okay. subcategory. So, yeah, so that's foolproof. But then, like, so 
barrel proof and full proof, or cash strength and barrel proof. Basically, it's just whatever proof it came out of the barrel. There you go. Uh, but there are some that'll say full proof. There's another term there for it. That's what I'm getting confused with. There's another term for the proof it went into the barrel. Barrel entry proof, but like, there's another term for it, and I'm, I'm misremembering what it is, so I apologize. So basically, those two you asked about, same thing, it's just not watered down. Whatever it comes out of the barrel at, that's what you get. Can we get store picks in Alabama, Kevin? Yes, absolutely, you can. They will ship to Alabama. Both of our retailers, the one in New York and the one in Texas. Gimmicks to get you to pay more, Natty says? Are you talking about the foolproof? Mm. Oh, maybe. Should hold it for a week or two, do a Christmas drop. I mean, I would like to do it so y'all have it for Christmas. So if we could drop it in a week or two and then y'all get it right before Christmas, that would be awesome. Store pick Eagle Rare straight up grape soda. Nice. I had a question. Well, I didn't have a question. There was a question for me. Proof Queen question from Unknown City. What's the highest proof bourbon you've seen? I'm going to say the Coy Hill. It is, yes. 140, what? Two. That's bourbon. 142. Yeah. Bourbon's really hard to get that high of proof. Like, you don't see a lot of hazmat bourbons. Yeah. They, exi they exist. Not a ton. So, cool uh, deal. Yeah. I have seen the Conecuh Ridge bourbon five-year non-chill filtered. I have not bought one yet. It's a nice looking bottle, um, but I haven't haven't picked one up. Uh, I, I, I don't know every state we ship to at this point. Somebody might have that info, though. Yeah, we have several of the Rickhouse proofs, and our our picks are Rickhouse proof unbottled. Ooh, what's the rarest bourbon you have? Rare? Well, there is something I need to talk about. I mean, the rare is going to be the Pappy Van Winkle behind me, the 15-year. We're going to talk about, I've been having an event in Vegas um, in January for work. So it's a work thing. We're going to an, a conference called SHOT Show. And so you would have to be an attendee of SHOT Show um, and, you know, have something to do with a business that does e-commerce to get in. So it's not for everybody, but we'll talk about we're going to have some very interesting bottles at that event, you know, like some, some really fun stuff at that event. But this is not, TJ doesn't have the budget for stuff like this, but businesses do. So we'll talk about, we're going to have some rare whiskey there. That reminded me, I need to do, I was supposed to talk about that at the start of the stream. I did not. Pappy Van overpriced, yeah. Joe got a Coy Hill finally. Congratulations. Have you opened it yet? Surely you have. Are you still deciding? I, I'm, I'm on the struggle wow, bus. Wow, he's on the struggle bus with this one. This is the longest of... Uh, I am on the struggle bus. Well, I've been doing a lot of talking, Jill. Yeah, yeah. A lot of talking. I'm trying to let my palate acclimate. Oh, Joe hadn't opened it yet. Go back through. Well, let us know what you think when you open it. Ours is open for sure. We baby it, though. We baby it a lot. It's like a special occasion type of pour. Are you just trying to pick which ones you like the best? Well, that's the whole point. Yeah, I know, but then you always try to pick who is what. Oh, I'm going to miss this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to miss this. I've got them kind of classified out, but I'm still trying to get an order here. Yeah, Clyde Mays is about to open their distillery if they haven't already. Um, it's just going to be, I don't know exactly when they open, but it's soon. But it's going to be a while before that distillate. So they're starting to distill their own stuff. Uh, right now, everything's MGP sourced. Uh, Mark, how many bottles? I, six, seven hundred probably at this point. Six hundred plus for sure, I would guess. Whatever that one was is gone. But it was just a delicious spiciness. Like just, I don't know what, that, that one is throwing me off. That one is the one that's like, that doesn't taste like anything in this, in this blind. And so I'm wondering if that's the Four Roses that is just like, I, it's been a while since I've tried that bottle. Museum, Bobby has a Peppy 15, yeah. Asking 2000 They can keep it, they can keep it. So really, wow. it's down to these two. I'm pretty sure both, although this one was a real contender. 
Honestly, that one's a real, that's just a delicious whiskey, whatever that whatever is. Whatever that was. That's a delicious whiskey. Tom says, TJ, best bourbon YouTuber, period. Keep them coming. When is the next hunt? Um, We should, uh, this Friday, Friday might be the final wrap up of um, our road trip. Okay. So it might be, and then we've got Memphis filmed, I've got Austin filmed. So we've got at least, they've got Columbus, Georgia filmed. So we've got a few filmed right now. Oh, that's so good. Mm. I think I'm going to. Oh, wow. What is it? Colton says, what do you think of the ABC board website saying they won't allow anyone on their property before 8 a.m. on the night? Do you think people will still try to? Oh, yeah, yeah. They've, they've said that every year, Colton, and nobody enforces it, man. There are people there the day before. Oh, I so, didn't know they said that every year. Every year they've said seven or eight, and they have not enforced. They, they, maybe this is the first year, but they have not enforced it. Chris with the four ninety nine super chat. Thanks for the Chattanooga whiskey recommendation. Got Scotch cask, and it's delicious. Nice. I'm struggling here, Jill. <laughs> these two. One of these is the E. H. Taylor. One and of one of these is the Weller. And I told you I'd probably, like, once you've had a bunch of whiskeys, it is really hard. They're different, but that single barrel's really good. Grizzly Pig says, this Bruzel short barrel toasted barrel pick is amazing. So. Do we have the toasted? Uh, short barrel toasted store pick. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we do somewhere. Yeah, we don't have the extras here yet, but okay. I do have one. Um, okay, so I have them locked in to an order here, and I think I know which one's which. <laughs> I think I know which one's which, okay. I, but I'm not sure. Jonathan tagged me in a pick on the Discord. I'll have to check that out. I haven't looked on the Jill Discord. doesn't really watch oh, the well, show. Oh, well, I haven't in a I, while. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. I mean, I've been in there, but it's just been busy times lately. i got to spend more time. And by the by the way, once this is over, I'll be in the supporter-only chat over on Discord. We have an audio chat where everybody can talk. You can ask questions. We can hang out. If you're in the patron, just be sure to link your patron account to Discord. should be able to join those. Kyle jumping in here. Appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you. Can we call them Bruzel Picks? Chris, can you, you call what Bruzel Picks? <laughs> the Bruzel Picks. Can they call Bruzel Picks? Well, I mean, it's Picks like pictures, but then are you talking about the store Picks? There, there are Bruzel Picks. Oh, it's probably... We're too entertaining not to watch, Kevin says. Aw, thank you, Kevin. You should start getting some raffles. So, Dragon, we are going... We're working on some things. We got to be above oh. board and legal... Uh, we are waiting until the new studio drops before we add some of the cool things we're working on. Um, and I don't know when that's going to happen. Like, I'm waiting on the woodworker to do the shelves in there. But we're going to be able to have a little more production capability in there. And we're going to we're gonna do some fun stuff. So, hey we're going to take it up a few notches. Kyle's in the chat. Kyle, I saw him. Jonathan, we are working on an app. Development has actually started. We are breaking ground on that app right now. Oh, call it instead of store picks. Oh, they want Bruzel nudes. You do not. I, I assure you, you may think you do. You do not. Um, um, are y'all crazy? There is a mortgage worth of whiskey on those shelves. If you're talking about a mortgage payment, you got a hell of a mortgage payment if there's only one. <laughs> you could buy a really nice mobile home for the whiskey on those shelves. <laughs> I know, because we had one. Cost about what that whiskey did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, what? What? What are you talking about? We did have All a mobile home. All that costs as much as our... I know we had a mobile home. No, but okay. it's close. Like, you could, like we're, we're not too far off at this point. Rebecca says um, we got to come back to Nashville. We do. We do. And hit up the... Yeah, that's... that's we just... We leverage folks, Wonko, to get... Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, let's, uh, let's get back on topic here. This has gotten way, way, way out of hand. <laughs> What's the best price you've heard for a Koi Hill? Dude, I ain't heard a good price for a Koi Hill. Four or $500. $500 is probably about what it goes for. Like, that's it. Um, the Weller 12 bottle's leaning. <laughs> oh, it is leaning. Let, let it fall. It's okay. What? 
It'll be fine. Okay, um, this one is my least favorite. Which one? Green. And I think that's the 101. But I'm not sure. Correct. It is Wild Turkey 101. Okay. It's good. Just doesn't hold up to the rest of these. Um, that's the green one. My uh, second to least favorite. This is his least favorite. Is the gold. And I, it's completely out, but I think that's the Knob Creek. Correct again. Knob okay. Creek. So my next, which was a real good, like this one is so good. Like that is surprisingly good. And that's the Four Roses. How did you? Yes. Like, it's only when it could be. Like, that it's is surprisingly good. Like, that is way better than I remember that bottle being. Now, the thing here, though, is that I'm a little torn here. Um, I'm a little torn because I really like both of these. He's crushing it for sure, Kevin. This one. Let's just see if he, he got... Two more. You've got to get I these. mean, the problem is, is the blue is the Weller, and the red is the E.H. Taylor single barrel, but I like the single barrel better. The red's better than the blue, but that's the Weller. So what's the blue? The blue is the Weller. Ah, he's right again. But that single barrel just so good. It's just so good. I, I shouldn't have put it in here. I ruined the whole thing yep. by putting that single barrel in there because that is so freaking good. See? That, was, that one threw that me was, off. That was I'll be honest, the Four Roses had my head, it had me rethinking everything. Because I do not recall that bottle tasting that good. And this is a 48-2V single barrel Four Roses. Like no store pick or anything, just a normal old single barrel Four Roses of absolute deliciousness. <laughs> you forgot to add the great to the 101, Jill. Forgot to add the great. Who said that? Um... What does a single barrel taste Brad. like? If you're talking about the the E. H. Taylor, it's just bright red fruit, a nice vanilla oakiness. Like it's like it's everything you like about a Buffalo Trace product, but all of the flavors are just really sharp and crisp, with a nice evolution, a great viscosity. Like overall, that is what I normally like about a Weller Antique One Hundred Seven. But it just, like, it was just a little elevated over this bottle of Weller. Um, if you're talking about the Four Roses single barrel, that, it just tastes like a four, it tastes like a, um, it tastes like an old Forester. Like, not as complex, not as, not as complex, but it, it is subtle, like some of the birthday bourbons I've had, similar flavors, not as good and complex. I'm not saying it's on that level. But I'm saying some of the flavors are really similar. Some of those kind of spicy notes with little bursts of sweetness kind of all the way through. Really interesting bottle right there. Um, I think our Knob Creek 12 is just kind of at the end of its life. Like this, mm. I think it's oxidized. Um, I think it's it's just, I think we need to open the fresh. We got a fresh bottle. This one is the old shaped bottle. So you can see it's at least a couple of years old. Um, it's probably time to go ahead and finish that one, and the next time we have one of these, bring out a fresh bottle. Bring out a fresh bottle. But, I don't know, you gotta like that Jim Beam nuttiness, and I do, but I just will lean toward these other three all the time. Good night, Mr. Avocado Man. He has to Avocado Man! 5 a.m. Um, I'm not getting up at 5 a.m. So, the, the trick to these colored blends is I gotta go through twice. Uh, See, last time... When I went through them and I went back through, and then I, I guessed, and as soon as you started saying them, I went back through and I was like, okay, now I'm starting to pick up the first time through, my head was just a mess. Back through, I'm starting to pick it up. Third time through, okay, all the all all, all the world is starting to make sense again. Yeah. Andreas said you said that last time you had that KC twelve. <laughs> On I, here. Well, you know, I got to finish the bottles, okay? That's why I didn't want to open another bottle. We have way too many bottles of whiskey open, and I'm trying to figure out ways to um, to get rid of them. And how I get rid of them is not opening more bottles until these are gone. 
So these are now earmarked for destruction. Those two bottles, really this one, look at this. Those three bottles right there will be gone. If we watch, like we're watching some football this weekend or something, those will be the ones. If we have people over, There's football those will be the, this Alabama plays Georgia. It's like championship weekend. I know that. Okay. You think I don't know that? I was you joking. asked the question. I thought you didn't know that. <laughs> it was our Well, you had COVID. Question. I thought you, like you had COVID. I thought maybe you were just out of it. You just thought I forgot there's an SEC championship yeah. game. Well, we're not in it. We ain't been it doesn't in it. matter. We haven't been in it. it. We haven't been in it in so long. I, it's understandable that you would have forgotten. Yeah. Uh, I, dude, I think Bama beats them. I think I'm voting for, and I, I'm like, I really think there's a solid chance that we have total chaos. This is live American Nightmare. <laughs> um, we have total chaos to where all of the undefeated teams that are playing really highly, you know, highly competitive games get beat. Uh, rooting for the dogs this week. I'm not rooting for anybody. I just think we're going to have chaos. Um, Boris, make your straight bourbon versus sour mash. I prefer the straight bourbon a little bit to the sour mash. Both excellent pours you cannot go wrong with, though, Boris. Both good stuff. Yeah, it's chaos for the, but I think like Bama could win. I think um, we could see like who else has got competitive games? Um, what is it like? You've got I, I forget who Michigan's playing. Georgia could get beat. Um, like we could have several teams in that top five or six get beat. Who's even up for the Heisman? Who's your Heisman pick? Uh, well, I mean, Bo Nix is one of the favorites, but everybody pretty much is just giving it to the quarterback from LSU at this point. Uh, Iowa, there you like go. Bo Oregon, Nix, Washington. Our old oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We've been exploring Scott's average savage. You'll see some of those videos coming out here soon. All right, let's, um, what are we, where are we at for time? 8.51. We've only been going for 52 minutes. Yeah. We've been going a little fast. I was trying to take my time, just like you're taking forever. <gasps> That shirt is really cool, Jill. Thank you. I did not pick up any of the Goose Island Bourbon County because they don't sell them in Alabama, and I haven't been anywhere since Black Friday. Jill had COVID, so I've just been trapped in the house. And Poor I couldn't man. Go. I You've couldn't, been trapped. I was going to go to Columbus and try to pick some up when they dropped on Friday. Could not do so because I was COVID exposed. COVID exposed. Jonathan, if my $2 means anything, you'll hit the like button. Jonathan, <laughs> hit the like button. We didn't Thank quite, you, Jonathan. We haven't quite gotten to, I think we're on the downtrend at this Aww. point. We were over 900 a minute ago. Didn't Thank quite you, get to 1,000, but that's awesome. Brian was hoping for Auburn. So were we, Brian. <laughs> we were standing up at the end of the game. And when we're standing up at the end of the game, it's real serious. Paulie with the first super chat. Appreciate the support, Paulie. What are, ooh, okay, um, what are, fa I, don't, <laughs> I don't know that word, man. Overus? Overs? Overs. Um, you might have to rephrase that one. E.H. Taylor Single Barrel and Elmer T. Lee picked up a bottle of each, but worried I overpaid. Um, so I'm assuming fair prices. I'm assuming um, autocorrect got you there. What I'm fair prices. There you go. Okay. Um, what are fair prices? So... Um, E.H. Taylor Single Barrel, honestly, that bottle of E.H. Taylor Single Barrel is so good, I'd pay $150 for it, no problem. But that, they go for much, much, much higher than that. Um, so don't don't feel too bad if you pay too much. Elmer T. Lee, not worth the bottle it's put. No, it's, that's a little bit of an it's a little bit of an exaggeration. I like to give Elmer T. Lee fans a little bit of a hard time. But um, Elmer, dude, if I see it for less than 100 bucks, I buy it. I will not pay more than $100 for an Elmer T. Lee. And honestly, I think I'm wasting my money at $100. Like, I really feel like I've been got at $100 for an Elmer T. It's like a $35 bottle. Um, I buy it just because I know somebody will want it. Somebody will come along and like, I need an Elmer, and then I'll be able to swap it with them or give it to them or something like that. Um, so, at, but, like, again, it's your money, man. Don't feel bad. JL, Jill, can you give a shout out to Kristen? She's been really sick, COVID, and stress. She doubled up. I know, she doubled oh. up. Hello, Kristen. I am so sorry you are sick with COVID and strep because I had just the COVID and that was bad enough. Like, this one was my worst bout of COVID yet. Um, so I know what you're going through, but you're obviously way sicker than I was. So I hope you feel better really, really soon. 
and are back for the live. You probably don't feel like watching the live tonight, but I hope you get better really soon. Squirrel's World, Elmer T. Lee or Weller Foolproof? That is not even close, my friend. A Weller anything. I will take Weller Special Reserve over. Eh, that's a close comparison. That's where we get. Let's not break those. Um, that is a close comparison there. Special Reserve. Any other Weller over Elmer T. Lee? Someone said earlier that you would accidentally break these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and I, then, then you're not, trying to I will not. I, honestly, I love them. I love anything that makes it makes it harder, makes it more fun, makes it more interesting. What, what y'all, I, a lot of folks will come on here and they'll talk about how you, well, you got to be right or you're guessing because I want to be wrong. I wanted nothing more. If I could have it my way, Wild Turkey 101 would have won that blind. But I'm not going to lie. I, but if I'd have come in here and Wild Turkey 101 would have won the blind, I'd have been as excited as I could have possibly a freaking been. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of folks like, who won't believe that. But, I, like, I literally do not care. How's the beer collab coming along? We have put four barrels of beer together. Um, I'm waiting for them. They said after Thanksgiving. I don't know if it'll be this week or next week, but I'm hoping to put another uh, six barrels down of beer. And then it's just a waiting game. We'll just try it every month. So the ones we just did have been in there for Almost, what's about a week and a half now, I think? Two weeks, maybe. Uh, what day of the week was that? You and Coley went to your thing. It was, so a was Thursday. Thursday. So it was Thursday a week. So we are a week and a half. They've been in the barrel a week and a half. So give them another three weeks. We'll try them. How long do they have to stay? Until they're ready. Oh, like you just it's, don't know? You just don't. It's kind of like having a baby. Until they're know? good. Kind of like having a baby. You think nine months sounds like, like just based on experience, but really it just comes when it's ready. <laughs> Thoughts on Knob Creek 18. It's good. It's not worth the price. I like the 1920 myself, Tom. ETL and R Rock Hill Farms are the only ones I haven't had or haven't owned. owned. He said it's behind the thing. I can't see. Behind the little, yeah. I haven't had. It's like we got to wait for more things to see Kyle's comments <laughs> because it's, there we go. it's hidden behind own. the thing. He hasn't, he hasn't had Dude. it. Oh. Okay, so Kyle, next time you're at the house, we just rectify, like, just say, hey, I want to try these. Rectify that situation. Because the Rock real Hill quick. Farms, you let me try that one. <laughs> That's and it's, so good. It's, yeah, it's one That's of the, the ones one. that I wrote down that I was like, oh my gosh, this one's so good. <laughs> so I, I passed on one the other day for $300. Do we not have any more of them? No, we have, we have one. We have a backup. Oh, okay, okay. I might have a backup to the back. I know I got at least one backup. Okay. I think I might have two backups. I might have, I know I got one backup. Well, we're good for a while. You'll find it. But I found another one for three, and I tried to talk him to two fifty. I would have bought it at two fifty. Mm -hmm. That's my limit. Like for two fifty, I'll pick one up. It's a dumb price. It's not worth it. No whiskey is. But it's like I like it so much. I like to have it. It's really. But good. I was actually just gonna give it away. To who? To the guy that was hunting with me. Oh, well, that's but okay. I gave him a stag instead. I get the stag for two hundred, so I bought a stag for two hundred, and I gave that one to it. I really think we should just walk into some random liquor store and buy somebody a bottle. Okay, well, I mean, I, that's kind of what I did in the in the Columbus hunt. You just oh. have to wait. Kind of what I, I, mean, I, I asked him. I wasn't on, there. I asked him on a date. He said yes, and we just went, and then we found a stag for way overpriced, and I bought you it. You asked somebody else on a date? Yeah, it was a dude though. If that's okay, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, what is it? we didn't consummate the relationship, Jill. That we doesn't just matter. You hunting. still don't ask someone else on a date. A bourbon hunting date? No. Mm, I love Jack 12, uh -uh. Jason. Love it. Picked up an tell ETL him that's for not 40, okay. $42, Dude I'll dates buy them all cool. day. Dude dates are cool. Is that Should that be a shirt, too? Dude dates are cool. Dude dates are cool. Thoughts on cigar blend? It depends on which one. Joseph Magnus? Fantastic. Love it. He was the first one to say yes. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, well, this Infinity Blend is not as good as any of those bottles by themselves. Ah, uh, Fruit Trait Distillers. You have come across other than Buffalo Trace. Mm. Dude, that is the most sweet fruit forward out of all of them. I haven't come across any. So, Green River, Green River <laughs> stuff. I heard somebody asking about that earlier. Yeah. Uh, Green River stuff is of. fruit forward, the stuff's just really young. Like, all the stuff they have out on the market with the Green River label is young. It is fruit-forward stuff, too. It just needs about four more years. Oh, wow. Cigar Blend Starlight. Uh, no. No, Norse. No, no, no. That's Amberana finish. Not my jam. 
Have not had 10-year-old Overholtz. Picked up an E.H. Taylor, Eagle Rare, and a Weller Special Reserve on my first bourbon hunt. Wow. For rare stuff. You did well, man. That's good. That's good. Um, I have tried the Balmoria Pike. Uh, somebody sent me a sample. I have not, I've seen it quite a few times. I have not bought it. Haven't had good times. Uh, has there been a lot of the Eagle 17? And, like, those... Those drop, but they go to places that either put them on a shelf for really expensive or they're kind of hidden in the back for good customers. So nowhere I go do they just announce the BTAC stuff, right? Which edition of Clyde May should I be looking for? What are your top three? So the older Clyde May stuff, if you find anything old, uh, was it they did a 12-year, 13-year? I hear those were exceptional. I didn't have them. Um, outside of that, I, I don't know. Like those are the ones, the, the, the teenage, the, you know, 12, 13, I think they did a 15 year. Those are the ones you want to get. Uh, Remus High Rye, haven't had it. Not sure. I understand. I can ask Bobby on a date if I'm in San Antonio, Jill. I see that. Now you're going to get, Apparently I can. you're going to be getting all kinds of dates now. I'm not missing anything, not having good times. Balmoria is said Balmore. That's not what it looks like, man. It looks like diarrhea. That's how you spell diarrhea. And it's diarrhea is pronounced diarrhea. And that's pronounced Balmoria, which is like, that is, mm. that, is, that is what happens to your stomach and your bathroom visits after you've had Garrison Brothers. Oh, my goodness. And that's a joke, Garrison Brothers. I apologize. Garrison Brothers makes a fine whiskey. It's Texas whiskey. You better be in the mood for it. It's a different animal. I suggest trying it at a bar, but it does not give you Balmoria. <laughs> Is but Midwinter Night's Dram all hype? Mm. Let's find out, Jordan. Grab that Midwinter Night's Dram and that High West over there. Let's start giving those things little tastes. Oh, right the there. newer They're ones. They're right there. Yes. I got you. I see you. Come to Delaware. I'll buy you two steaks. One for me and one for him? You didn't get invited, Jill. Oh, that's... Come on! How can I not get invited? I'm working on a Four Roses single barrel. Probably work on... Uh, that, the one I had was out of this world. It was so good. I hear, I hear bur bourbon is a COVID killer, Jill. Oh, really? Huh. Well, then I should have been drinking it all last week. The uh, Widow Jane stuff I've had is good, but it's a lot of George Dickel whiskey in it, so it just depends on the batch. Ah, uh, Evan Williams 10-year anniversary edition? I have not tried this. Didn't know this was a thing. Could I get a couple of fresh Glen Cairns here, please? Yep. So what we've got is a Midwinter Nights Dram, limited engagement, Act 11, Scene 2, it appears, right there. And then this is a High West <laughs> cash collection blend of straight bourbon whiskeys Finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. These were sent to us by Josh Angel from TikTok. Aw, thank you, so, Josh. So, appreciate it, Josh. Thank you very much for sending these bottles. <laughs> I have only ever had one bourbon finished in Cabernet barrels, and it was absolutely awful. Odyssey Rider says, Jill, stop trying to be a third wheel on TJ's bro dates. That's what I'm saying. She always trying to push herself in. Robert's going to buy me a steak at the Sizzler. Slide those out of the way. I tried, y'all see the bourbon hunt. We tried to go to, what was the little steakhouse in the middle of nowhere we tried to go to? The little like 70s shag carpet steakhouse on one of the bourbon hunts. Oh, yeah. but And I, you're like, no. Because the, ki the kids were We ended up going to like the worst subway in the world. Yeah, that was horrible. Jill will love Ben Holiday Rick House. Those those are the um, ones you were gonna get out of your out of your oh. face there, Jill, so people can actually see your beautiful hair. My beautiful hair. With the bromance. That's why like I know. So what I've is, asked I've asked three or four times while I go on these hunts, and so many people are like, eh, dude, go on, leave me alone. <laughs> You're weird. You're weird. This guy's like, he he recognized me though. He's like, hey man, I love the content. I was like, so like, what are you doing today? He's like, I nothing. I was just going bourbon hunting. I was like, me too. You want to go? He's like, yes. Oh, wow. So we went. I bet that's a cool video. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just having a good time. I don't know how the video turns out. Um. So 
That. No, no, no. It's fine. This has a little bit of like. It's obviously finished whiskey. Midwinter night jams are finished. I don't know what this one. This one's in port. That's what I would have guessed. Blend of straight rye finished in port barrels. Um, it's not super rye forward. Like it's obviously a rye, but some ryes are just way over the top. The port adds a nice sweetness to it. Those are interesting. I like them. This is not the best Midwinter Nights dram. I just, it's, I've had a few. I don't buy every act or scene. They're hard to get. I don't chase them. Um, this one is not as good as ones I've remembered in the past. Now, maybe that's my palate evolving. Maybe that's, you know, whatever. It's a fine whiskey. If you like rice, finished in port. See, Derek and Robert are both going to cook us both a steak if we come to their... We get, we get a lot of steak offers here, too. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you for including offers. me. I like to be Melissa's th Melissa's saying Brian's got a an addiction. What did Brian, what did Brian offer? That's what I need to find. <laughs> I missed what Brian offered. Not sure. <laughs> I don't have a burr rye, but I'd love one. I've had one. It's, that was actually one of the first whiskeys that really somebody gave. I think that was probably the first bottle of whiskey somebody ever gave me. <laughs> Ashley will buy us crawfish. Have you ever watched the video from Spillway, Ashley, where he tried to eat I learned crawfish? How to, I, hey, you got to learn something. I never <laughs> eat crawfish. Well, they have a crawfish festival here in town like every year. We're always too poor to go. Yeah. <laughs> For, too lazy not, to not go. Not anymore. I mean, we we're used to We're too lazy we, to go. When we were young enough, we were too poor. We were and now too we're lazy. too lazy. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> now I spend lazy. all my money on whiskey and steaks. We're anti hey, I'm down with a good Philly cheese steak. We're antisocial and lazy. I look like more like a pork chop guy. Come on, man. We're old I'm a ribeye guy. That's what I may doing. look like uh, I, I may look like a pig if that's what you're saying. I may be full of pork chops, but I'm definitely a ribeye guy. Two inch ribeyes, Bobby says. Haven't had Buchanan. Is Buchanan like an actual? Uh, I'm assuming that's a whiskey. I think that's a. Mm. Isn't that like a scotch? I don't I don't know. Burns Steakhouse is okay. the best in the USA. Where is it located? I don't know where it's located. Where is it at, Matt? Bourbon and beef steak. We're gonna go back, <laughs> we're gonna go back to this one right here. Um, this one was surprising because the only thing I've ever had finished in Cabernet was a Jefferson's Cabernet finish, and I hated everything about it. Everything about it. I hated I hated looking at it. I'm pretty sure I've still got it. It's in the back somewhere. I think that's Geoff. He says, is anyone going to the Red Barn Bourbon Expo and Lottery sale this weekend? Need to know if the trip is worth it. I'll add I get to hunt and hang with my son for the weekend. Oh, well, that'd be fun just to be able to hunt and hang with your son. But anybody going? Anybody know anything about it? I don't know anything about it. Where's it at? It I like. I'm not sure where it's at. I like that. That's surprising. That is surprisingly interesting. Ooh, that is a blend of Irish. straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. And when this arrived, I said, I feel bad because somebody gave me this bottle and asked me my opinion, and I'm not going to like it. Like, I just hate I love High West bottle. <laughs> They've got a great bottle, this yeah, hand-blown glass bottle. with the logo embossed in it. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. But Ashley said the spillway video was painful to watch when you started to pinch tails and suck heads, sucking heads. <laughs> Isn't that how you're supposed to do? That's it? what they told me to do. I don't know. Have you? I'll buy you Taco Bell if you want to feel like you drank Garrison Brothers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I like the Cabernet better than the Midwinters, and I like the Midwinter, but it. Like, it just tastes like toothpaste to me. Yeah. It just, like, it's it's port finish. So port finish with a rye tastes like toothpaste. toothpaste. I can't even talk. It's not the alcohol. Um, Kyle said. Yet. It might be in a little bit, though. Benton Lee's in Yavalda, Georgia. Best and biggest steak you've ever had. Well, there you go. I. We don't go out for steak a whole lot. We just cook them at home. Yeah, it's, it's like toothpaste. It's it's got a little minty freshness to it. It does have a minty freshness to it. Yeah. WB Saffle's pretty good bourbon drinker. Oh. 
What do you think? I like it. I mean, it's I don't I don't dislike it. But well, you know what it puts me in the mind of and toothpaste. I, it could just be that I'm like off tonight, but a, it kind of puts me in the mind of a scotch. A sc- okay. But not like it's good. Well, that's because you've been having finish, a lot of finished scotches. So you've had the, some of the scotches we've been trying to report finished scotches. So they're very similar. Uh, Try this one right here and let me know your thoughts. Do you have a career before YouTube or still do? Yes, I'm in, in e-commerce. So we build websites that sell things. Um, for those that are here, we are having an event in Vegas in January at the SHOT Show. And we're trying to find a venue. But I did just in the, I'm going to get a lot of flack because I did buy some bottles while I was in um, Austin on that that bourbon hunt. So we're going to have an event there where we're going to be opening a bunch of really high-end bottles of whiskey. Um, So stay tuned for that. We are going to be, um, you know, and again, you got to be attending the SHOT Show. you got to be kind of working in a business that's kind of got something to do with e-commerce. But the e-commerce partners there helped me afford really nice whiskey for y'all to drink. So I didn't buy all those bottles in Austin, but yeah, we did. We did buy one of them, and then we bought a lot B. We traded for one of the other ones. So, what did, which one did you like better? This one. The one, I, the second one I handed mm-hmm. you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That 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 is surprising because I did not think I would like that. That's really good. Which one was that? That's the Cabernet finished oh. High West. I like that one. It's not a flex. I need people to go to this event. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so it's you, a, yes, it's a flex. I'm sorry. It is very much a flex. If you but are not, in Vegas in January and you have anything to do with e-commerce and it's, you want to come to our yeah. event, we would Stay love tuned. to have you there. Stay tuned. Send me an email. Info at bruzel.com. That's not my budget, though. That's not my money. That's what's fun about that. Not my money. I get to buy bottles like it's that. It's way more fun when it's not, not your money. money. Uh, hand me that gypsy. We're going to try that one. Don't forget, after this live stream, we I will be live over in Discord for the support. Derek only. will be attending mm-hmm. SHOT Show. I will try there to you find go. y'all. Uh, no, hit me, uh, Derek. Send me an email, info at bruzel.com. Um, and when we have a when we have a registration form available, we will. Uh, I'll send that out to you. You have to have something to do with hunting and guns and law enforcement to go. I, yeah, I mean that's kind of the industry that 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 is for, right? Heaven Hill seventeen and twenty, break them out. Yes, guns and bourbon go really. Well, I can't say that out loud. We may get canceled on here. Uh, how many ladies are here? I, that's an interesting question, Brian. It's a little creepy if you ask it in the chat like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm here. Re- uh, realistically, um, it, I'm curious about this because our stats show that we're like almost all male audience. But I have a lot of folks that are like, I'm watching with my wife or whatever. So um, drop it in the chat. Let us know. Let, let Brian know. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Brian. I'm just giving you a hard time. I, I'm in Louisville quite a, quite a bit there, Mark. Make the whole family watch. There you go. Uh, this right here is, again, I think this is Eric Church's Gypsy Whiskey. This just showed up in the mail. I don't know if this is something Will reached out to somebody for. It showed up. I don't know anything about it. I didn't pay for it. Googling it, it's really expensive. It's almost $200. Give me a fresh Glen Cairn. Let's give Studer it a try. Studer says his girlfriend watches with him and... William says he's watching with his wife. Outlaw's a cat on bath salts. What? <laughs> um, eight fruit is just assuming we're alcoholics. Um, so that's cool. Um, probably, but not really. It just means more male alcoholics drink bourbon and female al- alcoholics drink wine. Mm. And Jonathan has asked me about Buchanan but 17 times. We later. don't identify as alcoholics. I identify so. as a cat on bath salts. So we do not identify as alcoholics. Oh, Derek, his wife and him watch together every week. That's there you go. awesome. So does Russell. Benville Rogers, Fayetteville, Arkansas area. Not anytime soon. I mean, we did do Arkansas. I forget the exact areas we were at in in Arkansas, but that video's out. (laughs) TJ's too funny. Casually roast poor Brian. 
How did an old fart like you pull this cutie, Chill? Is what uh, Bluegrass is asking you. <laughs> <laughs> How, you want to answer that one? Uh, He's obviously talking to you. <laughs> uh, because of his charm and his really pretty eyes and his smile. And we met in high school. And my Oh, she's like, well, and, while I was in my prime. <laughs> we were both in our prime back then. Um, but Because he's awesome. I did not purchase any Parker. I did come oh. across the Parker's Heritage. Didn't have that li unlimited funds. Like, I, we had to have a theme for the, um, the, the event. So I couldn't just go crazy with everything, right? <laughs> Kyle says we need to hit the North Alabama Wine Trail. Well, Kyle, let's have some conversations offline about that because there might be some interesting uh, developments there. Can't talk much about it at this point because it's still a pipe dream. Uh, brought the he LB bought the Brusel Six Pack Ooh, of Glen Cairns. Awesome. awesome, LB. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the support. Uh, yeah, yeah, eat fruit. I'm, I got it. It's cool. <laughs> uh, Scotch Irish Bourbon. Whatever you into, Mike. It's all good. I identify as a pine, pine cone. cone. Nothing wrong with that, man. Just be careful because you might fall out the tree. <laughs> uh, always watch at work, blessed assassin. Hate oh, that wow. you got to work this late, though. Bourbon connoisseurs. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, what's funny is, like, I literally just said I haven't drank anything since the last live stream. So, yeah. I, you know, I don't. Do we consume a little too much bourbon? It depends on who you ask. If you ask my doctor, probably a little too much. If you ask a normal person, no. William says it's our Monday thing, my wife and I. We love y'all's content. That's awesome. I'm going to let somebody. I love that. Somebody put, the wives are watching somebody put bourbon drinker in timeout. There no, for do about not put. Minutes. I saw it. I already saw it. And you're right, bourbon put it in drinker. Time out. Disney is beautiful this time of year, and I want to go so bad. Timeout. There, I said it. I want to go. Um, I'll have to go back to the JTS Brown bonded there, bluegrass. It's been a while. I have one, I think. Uh, BTAC versus Pappy. The Pappy 15 is so good. Now, when I first had it, I, I'm still trying to build up to where I like the oakiness of a 15-year-old bourbon. Like, typically, a Kentucky bourbon, especially a Buffalo Trace, is perfect at about 12 years. And then 15, it just has a little too much oak. But it is so sweet and complex and delicious. I think the 12 would be better if it was cash strength. But I got to go with the Weller. I got to go with the William LaRue. Uh, like, I would take BTAC over Pappy's. I just had a great idea. Okay. For all the wives that, because I didn't realize that many wives were watching. So, There's next. There's no, no wives are watching, Jill. Next you, now live. that I hear you've got ideas, no wives are watching. Next live, Jill's going to bring out the wine just for the wives. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, maybe some wives like. For, wine for wives. Yeah, maybe some like barrel aged wine in like bourbon barrels or something. Or maybe my new favorite wine. I might bring my new favorite one out. Disney equals price of Pappy. <laughs> um, yeah, probably. But I have Pappy, but she's also been to Disney. So yeah. I was supposed to be reviewing this, and I'm just over here. You can enjoying never go it. to Disney what too Jill's much. Talking about Disney. Connor B with the first super chat. Appreciate the support there, Connor. Trying to trade for GTS 2020. I offered Wild Turkey Masters Keep Voyage, E.H. Taylor Single Barrel Store Pick, Blanton's, and two hundred dollars. So if we're looking at like secondary values, the last time I checked, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. I don't keep up with markets. They go up and down. I think they're a little down right now. Last time I checked, GTS was $800 to $1,000. I don't know about that voyage, what, probably $300 or so in E.H. Taylor, single barrel store pick, a couple hundred bucks, Blanton's at 200 I think you're in that range. I think that's uh, it just depends on whether or not that person wants those bottles or that many bottles. But I think you're in the, you're not, I don't think that's an insulting offer by any stretch of the imagination. If you want to tater out, and, and I've done that. When I, like some of those super rare bottles, that's how I got them. I offered like five bottles in a trade. Honestly, like some of the B -tech, first BTEC stuff I got, I offered like five or six bottles in a trade to make that work. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, this is uh, Gypsy Legacy. This is a blend. What's interesting here is this is a blend of bourbon, rye, Canadian rye, and American single malt. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, Dusty says, Hey, hope you had a great day. Still love everything you guys are doing. Jill makes the channel, though. Sorry, TJ. 
For every person that I says that, that was true. I can find a I can find a <laughs> counter argument. I know he knows way more about bourbon than I do. I don't know anything about bourbon. That's not true. You know a lot. I just about like bourbon. to drink it. A good Takaji. I've got oh, some. Yeah. I gotta find them. I gotta find them. I don't know where they're at though. Bill's wife also has COVID. Why are all the wives Everybody. getting COVID? Because women are weak. Hey. I'm just offering a suggestion. Like that's a theory. That's it's not a, a nice theory. theory. Then why do all the women have COVID, Jill? I don't. I guess because we're out there working hard yeah. and doing out there all. licking doorknobs. <laughs> Ain't nobody licking. Quit those licking the knobs. dang doorknobs. Ain't nobody licking a doorknob. Okay, so I was doing this review, and then I keep getting tapped on the arm. Sorry. Um, I just won't tap you anymore. I'll just say what no, I got to no, say. Keep, keep, you can tap. You can say. It's fine. Interrupt me anytime <laughs> you want to. <laughs> I'm going to get a Thomas here in a minute, Jonathan. That's what I'm going for. Mm-hmm. Um, this smells like a George Dickel. It does, it's not. It, it says it's Indiana, and then the Canadian rye, and then an American single malt uh, blend. But it... It smells like a George Dickel. Oh, it does. It has that kind of like dry kind of oakiness. It's it's weird. It's like a sweet dry oakiness, which is like a weird combo. See now, Robert. From a George Dickel. I went to two Tay Tay concerts, and I didn't get the Rona at either one of those. So I mean, I'm sure it does, but I didn't get it there. Dang, I actually kind of like that. Um, so I didn't it's think like I would George on the nose. Dickel, but without the mineral. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is like George Dickel without the mineral really? flavor. Um, and so, like, it's not. I would. I wouldn't pay two hundred dollars for the bottle. And that's what I googled. That's what it said it, it was going for. I, I don't know. Uh, it's a beautiful bottle. I love the bottle. I want to steal this bottle. This is the bottle I want when we do our own whiskey. I love this like hand hammered bottle. But I, I don't know about two hundred dollars for it. Or whatever the MSRP. Somebody tell me the MSRP on that. But it kind of tastes like a George Dickel without the mineral taste. Like it has the sweetness, the vanilla. Ooh. It has the kind of sweet but slightly bitter oak. Or dry oak, I guess it's is very the dry. Word. I'm sorry. That's very dry. It is kind of dry. It is a, like a dry oak. So it's a, like a sweet dry oak, which I get on some of the Dickel stuff. But I kind of like it. Like I kind of like it. I'm not going to drink it a lot. So if we're going to review this, we're, we're working on, we're bringing back the Brusel scores. We're working on the app. We're going to leverage them in that. A one star is, I don't, just don't buy it. A two star is, it's okay as a mixer. Three star being, I'll keep it on the bar. Four star is, I'll buy a backup bottle. And five star being, every one of them. I'll take every single one of them. Um, I think this is a solid three. I'll keep this on the bar. It's really? interesting. I probably won't buy another one, but I would keep this. Like, I, I think people would like this bottle. At 200 that's not including considering the price. But would you buy another one? Would three star means, I, does three star mean, like, if I'm going to keep it on the bar, I guess that means I need to keep it all the time. Mm -hmm. So then i got to put it at 2.9. It's at the high end of... It's interesting. There's just something but weird I wouldn't buy, about it. I wouldn't it. buy another one at that price. There's I mean, something weird, but that's what I, I kind of dig. It's kind of weird. It's kind of interesting. Like, literally, it it almost like it just was so dry in my throat. It, it is a dry whiskey. Now, if you could get a taste of this, great. At $200, no, absolutely not. I would not even come. I would not pay $100 for that bottle. But I still kind of like it. Like, I, I paid $0 for that bottle. It right. just showed up in the mail. Like, it's just, that that's what we call magic whiskey. It is. A there's guy, something interesting about it. A guy it. in a brown suit knocks on my door, and then he just hands it to me. That's just magic whiskey. <laughs> um, so, I don't know anything about that. But, not considering price, hmm. 2.9. Interesting. It's interesting. interesting. It's, it's interesting. 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 <laughs> because it is very George Dickel- Without the mineral taste, but I wouldn't buy one at two hundred dollars. I wouldn't buy one at a hundred. Is there going to be a subscription for the app? Uh, no, the app is going to be free. free we, we'll free, figure out free. how to make money on it at some point. There may be some features later. You have to like I don't know if they'll ever. If I don't know if everything will be free forever, 
But our goal is to build a really cool app that everybody can use for free. Well, it's P-V-C-K-E-T-T. What does that spell? I don't know. But PVC Ket says, I'm the reason he's drinking whiskey. Oh. Don't, they, you can't blame me, man. All Can your fault. Not, it's Jill's fault. No. Well, let's start a lawnmower at, I can't read this label. Does it even say approved on the front? I don't even think it says approved. It does not say approved on the front. It's probably up there underneath that or on the back. Uh, you have a sick bourbon collection at my store, East Coasters. If you've got a if you've got a bourbon store, liquor store, on the East Coast, send me an email, info at brusel.com. We are going to go up on the East Coast at some point next year. Mm-hmm. I did try the Midwinter Night Stram. It's good. So I, I didn't give it a score. You want me to score the Midwinter Night Stram? Wow, this was this this one's very interesting. That's okay. what I'm saying. It's weird. So it's a mix of three different. I said that age whiskeys, but did you didn't say the ages it's, of them? I There's didn't say the age. Seven and eight year old, seven to eight year old. MGP. Um, probably the Kentucky. Now the bourbon's MGP. It's in it's Indiana. Okay. And then the Canadian rye is a twenty year old, and then the American single malt is four. No, it's a fun blend. It's 115 proof. $200 is nuts. I love the bottle. The bottle must have cost $120, though. Nine thirty. All right, let's give this a score. What are you trying now? The gypsy? I'm going back to the Midwinter Night Strike. Oh, you got the... Okay. So you're done with this one? Yes. So, again, good. Would not buy another bottle. Um, I keep Midwinter Nights. I try to keep Midwinter Nights Tram on the bar at all times. I do try to keep a bottle. Do we already open. have some open. We do have one. It might be in the back. It might be out here somewhere. We do have a bottle open, but it never gets drank. So it's good, but it's not like backup bottle. Like I never. I have backup bottles, but only because. I just find them and ours never gets drank. So gotcha. most of the time, my backup bottles end up going to friends that really want them because I'll end up with two backup bottles and I was like, I don't need that. It's a really pretty so bottle. So it's a great three, even three, three stars. This one, on the other hand, this uh, High West Cabernet Cast you Collection like is probably more like a 3.4. Uh, David says he's got uh, one great... A great one in the Orlando area that you missed last time. Well worth the trip. Uh, send you me got an some email. Fantastic store picks. Info at bruzel.com. We get down to Orlando way more than I would like to. Yes. Need to try Hemingway Rye. I'll have to keep that up. Keep it uh keep looking for it. I've seen them, haven't bought them. Everybody blames me for them <laughs> starting to collect whiskey. I'll take the blame. It's a cool. Like as long as you're not like hateful about it. <laughs> like if your wife finds out about your collection, you can't then blame me at that point. Tom Henry's right outside Philly. So with like, first of all, like if you own a liquor store, hit me up because we are working on the app. And what we're trying to do right now is build in some benefit for liquor stores. Like what can we do to help these businesses? And so we're talking to them about events and doing different stuff. But like, what can we do? Could you know, if you do a drop or if you get an allocated bottle, could you notify folks within a 50-mile range or something like that? Like, I want to talk to folks that work at our own liquor stores to try to find things that we could build into the app to help y'all. Tim just got here. Update on the 13th Colony pick. Uh, dude, the 13th Colony pick is on its way to Texas. That's all I can tell you. And once it leaves the distillery and it's on its way, it's just in the ether until the the um, retailer says, hey, the distributor just told me we have it. So it could be any day. My expectation, if I just had to guess, and this is a complete and total guess, is that sometime this week, the Clyde Mays bourbon and rye will show up on my doorsteps. We will be featuring those on the live stream next Monday, and those will go for sale on Tuesday. And then we will get the 13th and the Ben Holidays to Texas and drop those a couple of weeks later at the same time. That would be my expectation right now, but that could change depending on when they actually arrive places. 
Lettuce Wrap says you need to come to Ohio and film the Single Barrel Saturday. Biggest OHLQ drop of the year. Is that the one that's like two weeks from now? Like the first weekend of next month? Um, somebody was mentioning <laughs> earlier. Um, I mean, we could go up to Dayton. Probably crash with our friends up there. Oh, Jack says, do you think 10 tier is high enough for me to get the chance to buy the holiday? Uh, don't know. I, it, those are going to go fast. Couldn't tell you. Uh, that would be like, it depends on if they, like if they both drop at the same time, that might increase your odds. If the 13th and the holiday um, drop at the same time. So I, like I just, it's hard to guess with those. Now we're going to limit it to one bottle. Or, I mean, you'll probably be, probably be able to buy one of each, but like one bottle of each. Um, I would say it. there's a chance it'll hit the, hit the 10 tier, but it'll be, early. like, you've got to be quick. Like, it won't last long in the 10 tier. Did you stop picks through YouTube? Don't understand, Brian. What do you mean? Uh, RY3 rum finish. Don't know yet. Oh, what do you recommend that's sweet with some proof, to? Hmm. I mean, well or foolproof if you can get it. Um, I would say if you're going to go cheap, something you can get, benchmark, foolproof. Uh, let's see. Trying to catch up, make sure we're good to go. It's on 12-9 in Ohio. Fabian, it's our It's probably son. not going to work for us. Yeah, Fabian said, where's your son? He is currently in Thailand, so he is he is out of the country. He might be doing some bourbon hunting over there. He might be. You never I don't know, know. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning in Thailand. Sparky, we are reading YouTube comments, man. Are you missing some comments? Are we missing some comments? There's a lot of comments. Sometimes we miss some. Sorry if, we're, uh, if we missed yours, but yes. YouTube is the only place we're streaming at this point, unless I messed up. <laughs> and that may happen. Uh, let's see. St. Patrick's Day to Disney and let Thomas do some bourbon hunting. Thomas, you Before can coming go. to Sebring for the 12 hours of Sebring races. Oh, wow. What's that? That sounds pretty fun. 12 hours of Sebring. That's not the motorcycle races, is it? Let us wrap. Maybe he didn't hear us answer that question about the single barrel Saturday. I'm not sure. Yeah, but. so they're going to have Weller foolproof at MSRP at the Ohio... <laughs> I would like to go. It would be really fun, but like a couple of days, a few days after that, I've got to be in Chattanooga for um, Sugarlands. We're going to do something with them. That's not Chattanooga, baby. All right, Pigeon Forge, <laughs> whatever. Oh, I was like, when are we okay, going to Chattanooga? Um, so I, I just don't think the schedule will work. Tom says, Jill, from a Starbucks mug collector, how many mugs are you up to now? Ooh. I don't know. I'd say a good 30-ish, right? Wouldn't you say? I don't think you're at 30. You don't think I'm at 30? I don't I'm think at, you're 30. at 30. You think you're at 30? I think I'm at 25 to 30. I think she's at 20-ish. No. Woodford Double Double Oat. I've got a bottle. Fantastic virus. Whiskey Family Adventures loves the hat. I'm starting to ah. sweat in it just a little bit. Getting a little warm in here. Jill's got the heat turned up. No, I don't. Uh-oh. Are you getting the vid now? No. J-Rock could come chat. We're not in Chattanooga, okay? I'm sorry. We're in Pigeon Forge, whatever. Like, I don't know. Something like that. It's not a pick, though, J-Rock. I don't even know what we're doing. We're like touring their facility. <laughs> Everybody's like, Chattanooga's great. We're not going to Chattanooga. Uh, Paul, well, you said Chattanooga. I did. I said, I'm sorry. It's not that far apart. Like, it's it's not that far apart, and I forget where everybody, I forget where I'm at, much less where they're at. Uh, Southern Collective pick win. Maybe they're on my list to reach out to. Not really a sipper. I prefer sours and old fashions for whiskey. What bottle under $40 do you recommend? Are you you're making an old fashioned? Dude, ancient, ancient age is our go to here. The hat is a great touch. I, well, I was wearing my flannel today. I went out for a little walk and felt like wearing something warm. This is like literally the only long sleeve shirt I own, I think. Um, so I wore it and the hat just kind of matched. And for some reason or, or another, when I leave the camera, I like to come back with a different hat on. 
Brian answered your question. Oh, I don't do Patreon. I can find barrel picks from you recently, even though I upgraded my membership. I can't. Okay, so on YouTube. Yeah, um, we will post them here, but like they just, they're sporadic, right? They come out every once in a while. Um, so that's like, you would be better off being in, of course, we don't drop them to Discord. We drop them here. We will drop them here. The problem with YouTube, Brian, is that they just don't send out the notifications. And so, like, if we drop it on Patreon, if you're in that tier, you get a notification or you can be sitting there waiting on it. But on YouTube, we drop them and they just don't even notify you. Mm -hmm. And so, it's just kind of a hard way to notify people. So, I love the support here on YouTube. I appreciate it. I'm just letting you know you would be better off ending this and jumping on Patreon if you wanted to make sure you have access to those, unfortunately. It is just, it's not us. Like, we don't, I don't care what platform you're on. It's just much harder to communicate with you here on YouTube. Where's the poncho? It's it's in there. We got it in there. I'm saving it because I ordered a new hat. This was the hat I bought. We did some stuff for work where we were doing the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I had the poncho and the hat. But then I ordered a hat that's supposed to be an almost exact replica of the hat from the movie. Hmm. I did find out it's coming from China. Not sure. It may be like this big around. Don't know. It may be maybe one of these wish hats. <laughs> um, when I get maybe like a thumb hat. So we'll see. But I'm saving. The, I will, I'll drop the poncho if, if the hat matches. We will see. Appreciate it there, Jay Bryn. Thoughts on Blanton's Gold. Love it. Much better than Blanton's. Uh, 129 for Blanton's Gold. I would, yes. Do you have other hats? A couple, but then I'm buying more. So I've ruined a lot of my hats over the years, just moving and not taking care of them and that kind of thing. But I do. Like, I have, I have the, the flat brim hat over there I wear on some of these. And then I had a really nice straw hat that just, I do have, I think I have, I bought another straw hat. Where's my straw hat hat? Is it? Uh, it's in it, there. In it's there, in there. In the bedroom. All right. I'll go get it. So I, I had a straw hat I really liked, and then it got kind of damaged while we were moving. So I ordered exactly that straw hat from the same website. It's a different hat. <laughs> it has like the round top instead of like the flat top like this one, but still a nice hat. I need to break it out for this. Um, how good of a steal is a Heaven's Door store pick? I don't think it's a steal. You're going you're gonna to pay for it. Do I have any hats that are durable in the rain? I, my head is pretty durable in the rain. This one, I don't know. I, this is this hat. This is an actual Stetson. I don't so, think you should get that wet. I would think this might do okay in the rain. I don't know. Does a Stetson do okay in the rain? Can a cowboy wear a hat in the rain? Or is this just a show hat? I don't know. I think it's just a show I've hat. I've never had to actually do any real work in my life, okay? I don't know. Trying to put some LED lights in my shelf to mimic what you have. How do you get your shelf to light up that well? Um, so it is, there's a groove cut in the shelf so that the, the lights can sit flat and the bottles can sit on them. And then the lights are just Philips LED strip lights. All it is. Full brightness. So the bottle sits on top of them and they shine up through the bottles. Have not yet found a C923. Herb's Hats, amazing Herb's hat hats. selection, fitting, blocking, and wonderful people. In Austin, Texas. I want to do that. I wanted to go do, like, custom hats. I want to do some custom hats and some custom boots. I need, like, bruisal boots, bruisal hat. Wool hats don't do well in the rain. Yeah. This is not wool, is it? Isn't this, like, freaking... It's something, I it's mean, something that it's doesn't felt. do well in the rain. Isn't this, like, rabbit felt or something? I, I need a sombrero. James, so I, James says, my wife's enjoying the Frey Ranch. That makes me happy. I'm glad to introduce anyone to a Frey Ranch because it is awesome. It's probably about as close as I'm going to get to a sombrero, you know? I need a bruisal buckle. I need, oh, we should do bruisal buckles. Oh, my goodness. All right, yeah, that needs to be done. A lot of hats are beaver. Could be that. Get the hat you had last week? This is this one. Yes. M Y Gaming says, big fan of yours. 
for about three to four months so far, and I've been enjoying every single one of your videos. Thanks for the great content. Appreciate it. The Frey Ranch Farm Strength, the ones I've had, like we had one that was out of this world delicious. The rest of them have been pretty good. Now, some of them are great, some of them are okay, but on average, hats are always in, Seth, always in. All right, Jill, I gotta go use the restroom. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of water today. You have to keep them entertained, that, Jill. What am I gonna do to keep anybody entertained? Dance? And I'm not dancing. I'm gonna put that right there so y'all don't hear me pee. <laughs> Bourbon Zach Brown is back. <laughs> Is that what he is? Oh, Zach Brown is coming to Birmingham, and I totally want to do that. Keep him entertained. Throw the hat on. All right, I'm going to put the hat on for y'all. I don't think it's going to fit. All right, hold on. Let's see. Pour him a blind. Oh, I should do that. I should pour him a pour and see if he can guess it. Oh, let's do that while he's gone. Um, hold on. I got to scoot this chair out. Don't come out yet. I got, I'm going to do a blind pour of something that you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What should I do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Because, ow, that hurt. This chair is too heavy. All right. Ah! All right, y'all got to, like, Oh, y'all just giving me suggestions. I'm going to go with one of them because I'd already seen it, and that's what I was going to go with. This does not feel safe. All right. Well, really not safe. Really not safe. Oh, my goodness. All right. Jill needs a boost. Yes, I do. Don't come out. Don't come out. Okay, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go to the room. I told you I was going to... Do a, um, blind, pour. <laughs> this is how we lose Jill. No. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. All right. I got to take my shoes off because I think that makes it harder to climb in this chair. Wah! This chair is not as steady as it used to be. Okay. Make sure I get that put back out. There, right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Should I come back? You can come back now. You can come back. We'll let him come back. All right. Oh. Calm down, chat. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I now, poured now, you. I'm Jurassic Park. Okay, what are, what did you what is this? It's for you to guess. Okay. Guess what it is? I've got yeah. to try to guess. Out of all these bottles. All of them. Jump scare. Ah. No, I'm not jumping, I promise. Ah, uh, Braden finally made it to a live. Well, welcome. Oh, I didn't have, I don't have my mic on, Jill. Uh, they can't hear you. They can hear me. I'm yeah. probably louder than you in your mic. True. <laughs> you were laughing. Lettuce was 20 minutes behind. Oh, Hold on. Time to okay, find my... that's why, yeah, he didn't hear us answering his questions. <laughs> I didn't hear who answered the question. Oh, when we answered his question, he didn't. Okay. Let me put this. All right, so it looks like I'm, now I should be good. Tom says if he designs you something for a shirt, where can he send it? Uh, info at bruzel.com. It was a blind pour for us, too. Look, I think I need one of these, but just, like, for my size. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I'll order you one yeah. if you'll wear it. So this one, this was the one. I had one I loved. It was, like, a flat top, kind of <laughs> like that. Absolutely loved that hat. And then I ordered this one, and it's more like safari style, which is not my jam. Although Jeff likes Although it. Although you know where it would be cool at. Animal Jurassic Kingdom. Park. <laughs> Animal Kingdom. You go if I guess safari. this, I'm a legend. That's what we're at. We're at legend status. <laughs> Somebody want to give me a clue? Oh, Kyle says Miranda makes a line of female hats. Miranda Lambert? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Look at all your liquor. All of it. No, he does not want a hint. Who picked the bottle? I did. Just randomly? Mm-hmm. I turned around, I was like, ah, gotcha. It just hit me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, so if you don't guess it, I get to go to Disney before the end of the year. Okay. Well, I will pick a whiskey, and if you guess it, no, then you get to go to Disney. No, 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 no. It's from this room. It is from this room. Lord have mercy. It is from this room. <laughs> you need a will prank every live stream, says Brian. Late start got me poor proof queen. Sorry to hear you had COVID. Thank you. I'm I'm much better now though. Today was the day I could go out of my house and like wear a mask around people. So, I feel much better today. Much, much better. And I procrastinated to get the vaccine this year, so I didn't I ended up hadn't gotten it yet. I will not make that mistake next year. I promise that. <laughs> Did you put the bottle back where you got it? Yes. Of course I put the bottle back where I got it. I mean, you didn't put it back in a different place. No, I put it back where I got it. Think, Bruzel, think, wise one. Well, I mean, it's got a great mouthfeel. It's kind of apricot forward. Nice flavor about it. And Dritsky said mask, really? Yeah, that's just what the CDC website said. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to think about everybody around me. I don't know. That's just what it said. It says you can leave your... It does like this little calculator thing, and it tells you when you can leave your house. And I mean, if you retest and you test negative, you don't have to wear the mask, but I don't have any more tests, so, I mean. Can I pull bottles down to try them? No! This is a blind, poor guess. Like, you just got to guess, boo. This if TJ gets this, he's the grand master of bourbon. This has a very distinctive flavor. <laughs> Um, it's got some proof to it. It's, <laughs> it is kind of apricot forward. Chris says it's at least 51% corn. <laughs> this needs to be a weekly thing. William, he, he likes this. That's Ben Holiday Rickhouse proof. I'm a rule follower, Asher. I just follow the rules. What is it? He said CDC's a joke, Jill. You still believe them. <laughs> I, I'm just a rule follower. What's the whiskey, Jill? Oh, you didn't guess. I said it was a holiday rickhouse proof. Oh, no. No, I didn't figure. It's too apricot forward. Still Austin. It's, it's the Still Austin cash drink? That one. It's the cash drink, yeah. So, like, what we picked, I almost picked that one. Did you? I almost picked that. That was Aww. my second. Like, that was, Someone I was like, I had a lot of take proof. take two guesses. <laughs> I should have let you have two guesses. So, what threw me off, though, is the one we did is more orange peel, and this one's a little more apricot. And mm. so, I was like, that's, that's one. Of, I, so, I was like, that's one of the craft whiskeys I've tried. It's one of the craft whiskeys I like. At first, I thought it's, it's a... Um, Short so barrel, thought I thought it was a short barrel toasted, but I was like, it's not toasted. Like, it's got the apricot without the toast. And so, I was like, it, I just don't remember the apricot from the holiday, but then I just played you. It's like playing cards. I played uh, you instead of, the, instead of the whiskey, and I was like, Jill's probably going to pick a holiday. Disney time. Makes sense, though. That one, like, Now that you mention it, the apricot makes sense. So, mm -hmm. no, uh, <laughs> apricot leaves me that's what I thought too there Kyle but it, it doesn't have it's not that over the top with the toast um, so like the still Austin has an apricot flavor I should have guessed like I, it, I should have guessed it I just thought she would have went behind she looked behind when I said what, where did you pick she looked behind so everybody thinks that this is a thing we should do again but that you should get three guesses 
Okay. We'll go with that. We'll do that. You want to do it again right now? No. <laughs> Not we right now. We do have now. 11 minutes. What's the results of tonight's 100 proof blind? Number one, um, I did put E.H. Taylor single barrel instead yep. of a uh, small batch in there. Sorry, my fault, but the, the single barrel one. Right behind that was the Weller Antique 107. Right behind that was the Four Roses single barrel. And then you had Knob Creek 12 and then the Wild Turkey 101. Followed your advice and began a relationship with a local store. I know their Buffalo Trace drops at MSRP, $25. There you Those go. There. Awesome. Uh, so, like, still Austin is my favorite. And, and I got to be careful now because every time I say something, like, Nancy Fraley blends a lot of whiskeys, and she's in this chat a lot. And so last <laughs> week, y'all were asking me questions about uh, one of the whiskeys she blends. I didn't love it. And then she pops in here talking about it. I was like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> Um, so well, at least you're honest. I'm, all, I'm all, I'll always be honest. I don't care if the master distiller, the guy who owns it or Jesus Christ is in here, but, um, I like the still Austin stuff. Um, it's, you know, it's definitely craft, but I do like it. And this is one of the reasons why. Ben says we should get Jill one of those ladders they have in the fancy libraries. I agree, Ben. Can you, that, that would be really... Oh, it's going to be worse in there. That, well, I mean, it would be the same be height, but there I need a library. more shelves. I need a library. You need I a library. Need, she needs a I, library. I need a ladder. One of those rolling ladders? Yep. Uh, now, I've heard some people grab a Still Austin didn't love it. So, I don't know if it was a single barrel. I don't know if it was a different blend. But the ones I've had have been pretty good. I can't. Still Austin is not a Total Wine only product. But I think they might have distribution at Total Wine in some states, and that may be the only place they sold at some states. I was trying to drink, and then this hat's going to fall off the back of my it's head. It's okay. It's a durable hat. What's your favorite $200 go-to bottle? I do, am I supposed to have one of those? <laughs> Is that like an... Jesus a... Christ, man. <laughs> Who has a favorite $200 go-to bottle? It's How my, many $200 bottles are people buying? My favorite $200 go-to Um. Bottle. I, like, two hundred dollars is just so much. I, I let me try to figure out a way to explain this to the five hundred and ninety-seven people who are here who are gonna think I'm crazy. You're gonna think I'm nuts. So I'm, I may be revealing too much. I may lose some of you. I may run some of you off. But I just think it's great. I am a person that spends a lot of money on whiskey, while also thinking it's really, really dumb to spend this amount of money on whiskey. Like I just, I just feel like it's just crazy. Yeah, but to if spend, you're having a good time, to spend two hundred dollars on a hobby. If if two hundred dollars is a lot of money to you, and oh well, yeah. Growing up where I grew up, where we came from, two hundred dollars is a lot of money. And so, like, I grew up in a trailer that only cost five hundred dollars, and that's like that's just like, hey, if you pay five hundred dollars, move this dang thing out of here, you can have it. <laughs> and so, two hundred dollars is just a lot of money. But at the same time, we've been blessed. We've done pretty well. The channel really has what has made this just stupid because. It yeah, generates we'll it. It generates permanent. yeah. It generates at least enough revenue to buy the bottles we need every month for videos and to to have try some new stuff. And we have like two hundred dollar bottles of just like magic whiskey where UPS just shows up and hands it to us. Um, so it's it's weird. Uh, it's weird. So I don't like I don't. I'm not a guy that wants to flex. I don't want to talk about the really expensive bottles I have because sometimes we you know like corporate money buys stupid bottles. It's not my money. It's not my bottle. It's a corporate bottle for a corporate event. So I'm in a weird place, man, where like as I'm trying to maintain my advice as a human, not as like some alien that has unlimited bourbon budgets and corporate money. Um, so as an alien that has unlimited bourbon budget and corporate money, what's my two, favorite $200 bottle? Still probably, probably going to be that E.H. Taylor single barrel right over there. Um, as a normal human being, $200 is a lot of money. Probably can't get that bottle. Um, some of the Calumet stuff is really good. 15, 16 year old Calumet's really good. Less than 200 ish dollars. Um, I can't think of anything else that's pushing that $200 that you can buy in a store for that price. So, sorry if I lost some of you. I did. I lost 11 people on that. Well, that they were right done there. with you. Yeah, they quit. Done. Didn't want to hear anything else you had to say. Yep. Four Roses limited edition small batch. Yeah, but you, like, can you get it? Can you get it? That's the problem. If somebody asks for that advice, 
can I get that bottle? I have that bottle, but not every year because I can't get it every year. So, YouTube superstar. Oh, is that what you are? Superstar. Superstar. Y'all don't. Y'all never saw that movie. Jill's never seen that movie. Isn't that um? It's the girl from what's her name from Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live? Night Live. Yeah. I, just, I don't know if there was in a movie, but I do remember the Saturday Night Live skit. Ah, Four Gates. Some of them, some of them are really good. They're really expensive though. High West Midwinter Nights Dram Rye. Well, we just had, we just tried this one, and we we gave this one a three, three out of five, three stars. Pretty good. I enjoy. No, you, is that the one you gave a three? You gave this the, one was three point four right here. Okay. This was the High West. Cabernet Sauvignon finish. That I like that one better. I'm sorry for me. This is the best of the. Molly movie. Shannon. This right is, there. This is what you should like. This. Is oh, the, the Crittenden's four grain is better than all like. Of it. Mm, this is like one dude making whiskey, and like he blows half the bottles I have in this room out of the water. That is some good stuff. First bottle you found when getting into bourbon hunt that really hooked, it really was the Weller Antique. That's like mama's cooking for me at this point. That was the first bottle I'm like, okay, whiskey's a thing. Madigan, we are closing in on 500K. We should hit that sometime in December. So theoretically in December, we should hit it. By the end of the year, if everything keeps going like it's going, we should hit 500K, which is just... I know you have better numbers than I do, but like... Just nuts. Like, it just just blows my mind. Yeah, we're at Now, a lot of them watch the, watch the shorts, right? We've got a lot of short subscribers. I keep trying to figure out if we were a long-form video and live stream only channel, how many subscribers would we have? It's a lot less, but I don't know what that number is. Pinhook pin eight year at 110 is amazing. Mm -hmm. We actually did a video with them on that blend. We were there when they blended the Pinhook 8. I haven't found one yet. Oh, that's Best right. starter bourbon whiskey. Again, just jump into the benchmark stuff. What's a 200 bottle on the shelf? That's, I don't know. What's up, Montana? Bears driving with two minutes to go. Well, they're going to screw that up. Hate to tell you. I wish getting bottles shipped to Canada was easy. I agree. I wish I could ship them to Canada. Do you still do, I had the infinity bottle, don't ever touch it, unfortunately. Like, we did it, so I, I did an infinity bottle, the first one I ever did, honestly, the best bottle of whiskey I've ever had in my entire life, and I didn't document any of it, and everything since then has been a disappointment, and we just get, like, nowadays, we just get new whiskey in every week, and we need to try it, so I'm just not going, like, that's the problem with this selection, is that nothing ever gets finished because we're always going to something new that came in. Um, so we're, you know, we're trying to get, to, I'm trying to build some procedures to finish bottles. How about them cowboys? I don't know. How are they? I don't, I think they're okay <laughs> this year, aren't they? What do you think about High West Prisoners? I haven't had it. Come to Washington, I'll give you one. Turn me on to Penhook. Nice, mm -hmm. William. I'm sure I'll find one. They're, they're out. Skull. I, so I every every week I get this like, do you have a dip in? I'm like I don't, I don't get it. I don't. I want to understand it. I want to understand the like. I've got chubby cheeks. You get and that I've got question? A weird, yeah. Every week they're like, oh man, you're drinking bourbon with a dip in. Is this like? I don't know if this is some meme no. that people are putting them on to, or like, I, I don't. I want to understand this, and I I can't. I have no clue. Making bourbon butter for barbecue season. Oh my goodness, that sounds go. awesome. Uh, we will be in the West. We'll be in California, probably like the San Jose area. First Not of San, San Jose, not Middle San Diego. Middle of January. San, middle of January, for, for sure. All right, guys, we are going to call it. I'm going to jump over on the uh, Discord for the supporter-only chat. Um, so if you're a part of that, I'll see you over there here in just a second. David with the Super Chat. What's the Mrs. Favorite Bourbon, regardless of price? What is your favorite bourbon on the planet? Oh, William LaRue Weller. There you go. She's got the same as I do. Like, we've got similar palettes. That's Very what similar, makes yeah. this work. Um, Blanton's but next Barrel Monday, Strength of Gold. Barrel I'm strength. bringing in the wine for the ladies. She's going to break out the wine. We're wine, gonna try. For wine, <laughs> wine for wives. Wine for wives. All right. So get all your wives to tune in and have a glass of wine. 
Yes. Bring them in. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Had good a good night, time. Everybody. We'll catch up with you all later.